That brings me to the last way I'm going to talk about. There are more ways. That's why I've given you those notes. The last way we commonly abuse as men, as we as men, and I'm sure even the ladies, even abuse God's gift of sex, and that is by masturbation. By self-stimulation. Self-stimulation. Uh, you can, I think you can say self-stimulation or... Uh, I'll use the same word. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can use the same word. Okay. Uh, the last way, Shivarika, Manam Manana, Anugra Hinshivarika, Devon Yoga, Laiki Yoga, Varamu Yoga, Durvin Yoga, Kastama, Pushlaina, Srilaina, Masturbation Dwara. You know, youth preachers like me are compelled to speak about these topics. I mean, I used to speak about it all the time. You know, I, I used to put up videos on what the Bible teaches about sex. And those days when you Google search those, I mean, you YouTube those videos, YouTube search those videos, my video will be there and maybe one or two and then all the rest is porn. Thank God, the times have changed. People are talking about it. And we need to talk about these things. You know, we need to talk about it frankly. But you know what? These days, it is the female actresses of our time. I'll give you a couple of names. Uh, I know Kaira Advani, Swara Baska, Kaira and Swara, female Bollywood actresses. They are talking about masturbation. And it's high time we talked about it and had a frank discussion about it in the light of the written word of God. <laughs> Though the Bible is silent on this subject, the Bible talks about sex, man with animals, Bible talks about homosexuality, calls it a sin. You know, the Bible does not directly refer to masturbation, but that doesn't mean the Bible encourages us as believers to masturbate so that we can relieve ourselves of built up sexual tension. No, the Bible does not encourage us to do that. Now, I want you to turn your attention to 1 Corinthians 7 9, which I believe helps us understand what God would think about masturbation because 1 Corinthians 7 9 the Bible says it is better to marry than burn with passion now if masturbation was a God approved way of relieving built up sexual tension very common with men especially the Bible could have very well said there it is better to masturbate then burn with tension. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible says it is better to marry than burn with than burn with tension, sexual tension. So the Bible discourages the use of masturbation as a way of relieving yourself. <laughs> So first Corinthians seven nine tells us the only guilt free, the only totally joyous sex is within the boundaries of marriage 
and never outside the boundaries of marriage. And let me tell you something else, and this is a married man speaking, married for 17 years. I believe masturbation is wrong in the light of this book which I hold in my hand. Secondly, because masturbation qualifies as lazy sex. Now some of you are thinking, now this has been 35 minutes, when does this preacher stop? And you're thinking, you're thinking you're in a dream world, some of you I'm sure. You're thinking about you'll get married to that girl, pretty girl, and then after marriage you'll have your first night. Now I'm preaching to you God's word in this church, but your mind is already in the first night and what you will do in the first night. Now, but the day you get married, within a few hours, you'll understand marriage is not all about celebrating a sequence of first nights together with your wife. Marriage is something else totally. You will understand when you get married that fulfilling marriage sex begins with breakfast. Don't get dirty ideas. Breakfast in the sense you go to the kitchen while your wife is preparing coffee for you and give her a non-sexual hug non-sexual hug you hold the hand you look into her eyes you spend time with her and when you're in the office you call her five times seven times and then when over dinner you you know you don't give one line answers when she asks you how was your day you talk about your day you make loving long deep meaningful conversations and then when you retire to bed that night she might offer her body to you and you might have sex but when she does that is the blessed sex, that is the guilt-free sex, and that is the totally joyous sex, that is hard work. God designed them to actually get aroused through the ear gate and God designed men to get aroused through the eye gate so man can get on get turned on quickly but you know God wanted this romance and back and forth to go on and the climax of this long romance is sex and when sex happens that time that's when it's earth shattering that's when it's totally joyous My, uh...
But masturbation, you know, doesn't require any of this hard work. And that's why it's so easy to lock yourself in the room and take a pillow and masturbate or watch porn and masturbate. But that is, that displeases God. There is a whole lot of verses in the Bible, especially in Proverbs, that talks against laziness. God is against laziness. And masturbation is lazy sex. And because that is so, we should get the help of the Holy Spirit. Get in touch with an accountability friend who will ask you, when was the last time you looked at porn and masturbated? So that we can quit this habit with the help of the Holy Spirit altogether. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you. He is saying, the Holy Spirit is saying, you have disobeyed God and violated His word when it comes to sexual purity. And the Holy Spirit says, repent, repent. Would you respond to that voice right now? He himself bore our sins on his body when he hung on that cross. We read in Peter, when Jesus hung on the cross, he himself bore our sins, our, our sins on his body. His body was sinless, but our body was full of sexual sin and other sin. But he took our sin on his body and he died for us on the cross. Would you tell him right now, Jesus, I'm repenting of that sin. Thank you for offering your sinless, sexually pure body for my sake on the cross. Right now, I'm coming back to you. Would you do that by kneeling down right where you are between the pews right now? I am not done with my session. I have I will speak for another 15 minutes, but I want you to do that right now. The Holy Spirit is asking me to do that. You know, right now, pull the net so that the young people right now listening to me can make a commitment to Jesus right now. <laughs> Cleanse me with your blood, Lord. The blood you shed for me on the cross. I repent of my sin. I put my faith in you. You who died for me on the cross. I accept me. Cleanse me. Forgive me. Would you say this prayer after me right now? Those of you who are kneeling, if you know English, you can repeat after my English a statement. If you want to wait for the Telugu translation, please repeat after the Telugu translation. Dear Lord Jesus, 
Yes, repeat, those who are kneeling down. Dear Lord Jesus, please forgive me. Wash me of every sin. Wash me of every sin. Please forgive me. You died for me on the cross. Your pure body took on itself my sin, my sexual sin. Thank you. From this day onwards, I will live for you. Help me, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen.